Hi, good afternoon. My name is Anna Mares and I am a volunteer with the Clean Boats, Clean Waters program. And I was just hoping to talk to you today about the dangers of invasive species and ask you a few quick questions. Would that be okay? Yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, I'm writing this down, but it's not anything that's going to get you in trouble. I'm just trying to get the word out about invasive species. So, uh, have you used your boat in the last five days on a different water body? Yeah. Oh, great. Where did you go? Uh, Lake Altoona. Lake Altoona. That's pretty close. Yeah. All right. And after you used your boat last, did you inspect and remove all the plants from your trailer? No. No? no? Um, did you know that you were supposed to at all? No, I did not know that. Oh, okay. Well, every time you go boating and you see plants hanging on your trailer, you should probably take them off so that you don't move them from one leg to another. And I'll help you clean those off in just a little bit. Okay. Did you dispose of all your unwanted bait in the trash after you were done? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Great. We won't be spreading VHS then. Okay. Do you drain all the water from your boat and equipment and fish and live well? Usually. Oh, that's wonderful. And are you aware of the AIS laws that are in place in the state? No, I'm not. There's one law that says that you can't move your boat into the water with plants or animals on that trailer yeah. and then also when you drive away and drive on the road you can't move those around. Um, so those are new state laws and uh, we're just hoping that everyone follows them. Okay. So now if you don't mind we're just going to take a quick walk around your boat and we're going to look and see if there are any plants dangling off there and if there are then um, I can help you take them off and we'll talk about the different places that plants might get stuck. Okay. Sure. So we'll start up top. You'll notice on your front anchor here, you probably use this when you're fishing or just enjoying a nice spot, that you get some stuck on your anchor there, and sometimes even on your little tow strap there, or your tow rope. The rest of the front looks good. And when you're looking at the side, you'll want to bend down and see if there are any plants or algae mats that are stuck on your trailer rungs and by your wheel and behind your wheel base and sometimes you have to peek around there and then you'll find a couple more but the idea is we want to get as many of the visible weeds off as possible so in the back you have the same problem on this anchor so if you could grab those off that'd be great and also on the motor, there are lots of places for plants to get stuck. When you're in a really thick bed of weeds, they get all tangled around the prop and sometimes you have to yank them off pretty hard. Back up. Even on your back light here, you have some that get stuck there. Same with these rungs here. And you just pull them off and what we're gonna when we are done, we'll go around and pick these up and put them in the trash so that they don't make it back into the lake. So that looks pretty good. Looks pretty clean to me. Bending down, we got all of the, the big ones hanging off. and um, So I think we can say that your trailer is weed free. And then we'll put these in the trash. Sounds good. It's also a great thing to pull the plug out of your boat so that all of the water drains out and you're not moving small particles like zebra mussels or spiny water flea from one lake to another in your water. And look, you do have some water draining out. That's great. If you had a live well in your boat, do you? Is there a hidden one in here? No, not okay. that I'm aware of. If you had a live well, then you'd want to drain that at the same time as well. Okay. Thank you guys for your time today, listening to me and talking to me. And uh, are you interested in any information on invasive species? Sure. There are a couple cards here for zebra mussels, rusty crayfish, spiny water flea, purple loosestrife, um, curly leaf pondweed, and Eurasian water milfoil. There are those. Just gives a little information about each species. And then if you ever forget the steps that we talked about today for cleaning your boat, they're in here. And 
here is a sticker that we're encouraging boaters to put on their boat, um, and specifically on the hitch post here. And when I see this sticker, I'll know that I talked to you, or a different boat or a different inspector will know that they talked to you, and we um, we can just inspect your boat instead of asking you all those questions. This sign that's at most of our state boat landings or public boat landings will help you remember the steps of what you need to do to clean your boat off, boat and trailer. So first you want to inspect boats, trailers, and equipment. You want to remove all attached aquatic plants and animals, like zebra mussels if you see them sticking on there. You want to drain all water from boat, vehicles, and equipment. And then you never want to move plants or live fish away from a water body. Wait, I still have a lot more questions about invasive species. If you do, I'm at Beaver Creek Reserve and I'd be more than happy to go over anything that you want to learn about invasive species, different kinds, what the problems they cause are. Okay. So just let me know. Alright, thank you.